Hey everybody, Chris Grandy here. It's uh, I don't know, 3.15, Tuesday afternoon in California. Went out for a little walk and sprint. It's a little thing I do. Instead of running, instead of walking, I walk with some intermittent sprinting. sprinting and uh, good workout. Anyway, I want to do a video. I've been meaning to do this for a while and it popped up on my reminders. And that's um, taking care of your spouse when you own a profitable small company. So, a lot of small business owners don't necessarily pay attention to what happens to the business when they're gone. And yeah, they might in their mind say, oh, I'd like my kids to take it over um, or something, but nothing formal is in place. And they don't think about their spouse, especially if their spouse stays at home or such. You know, if you're running a small, profitable small business, it's earning you six figures, close to seven figures. And, and, and let's say something happens to you, who gets all that income? I mean, if the business runs itself, let's say you have a landscaping firm or even something more, um, you know, a landscaping firm, if it's, depends on the name, if it's a personality driven business like my own, you know, a lot of people, like to, they work with me, they don't necessarily work with, quote unquote, my company. But if you're in a business where people work with your company, you have to think about, if you're gone, this thing is still gonna make money. And so who's gonna make sure that your spouse is taken care of and your family? So there's a couple ways to do this. First thing is you should have a conversation with your planning team and explore all the options. One could be some kind of sale of the business while you're still alive, some partial sale, some way to sell assets to employees or, or outside investors. Another way is some kind of disability or, um, or, or a life insurance buyout plan if you became permanently disabled and couldn't run the business or uh, something happened to you, you passed away, that the insurance would then cover the, the uh, kind of the buyout. So some, somebody is paying for the insurance that would kick in if you're gone. Um, because, you know, there's, there's no guarantee. If you don't have it written, especially if you have a business where there's no arrangement written down somewhere, there's, you know, you have this income and it's not going to go to your family. So you have to find some way to make sure that happens. So just as a word to the wise, talk to your planning team, discuss buyout options pre and post traumatic incident, you know, while you're healthy, either selling parts of the business or having some kind of succession plan, or if something were to happen or set up a plan where if you were disabled or pass away that, that there's a buyout. So um, just thinking about that. Uh, and again, it could even be something as simple as you have a, a written arrangement with a company. Let's say you're uninsurable or something like that. You have a written arrangement with a company that, you know, your spouse would get, you know, $50,000 a year, $100,000 a year, um, you know, for 20 years or something, you know, as long as the business is, is or, or some percentage of sales or something, as long as the business is running. And then the business would then go to your partner or your managers or whoever. So um, just think about that stuff. Super important no need to waste a really good asset that you've built make sure that planning's in place have any questions let me know and um as many of you do know i mean people have found out you know i i answer questions from all around the country often someone will drop me a message in the email through my website or on, on a youtube video or linkedin or somewhere or in or whatever but they'll call me and or submit my response form and have questions so feel free to do that especially on this topic if you do Worst case, I point you in the right direction and maybe I can help you out. So uh, just big, keep that in mind though. Make sure you get a good planning team in place. Hope you have an awesome day. Thanks for watching my video. If you like it, click like. Um, and um, you, know, you know, consider subscribing. I occasionally put out videos like this on financial planning topics. Sometimes I'm discussing a vineyard. It could be all over the place. But if you like fun, spontaneous videos that aren't too long, subscribe. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks.